come towards the next question that is question number 9 all vertebrates are chordates but all chordates are not vertebrates justify the statement we have to justify the statement given on the screen that is all vertebrates are chordates this is very true all vertebrates are not not uh, all vertebrates are actually chordate, uh, chordates and all chordates are not vertebrates why this is so as we know from the classification of chordates we know that first of all the phylum chordata the phylum chordata is the 11th and the last phylum of animal kingdom which includes all the animals having notochord present in their body if any animal if any animal is having notochord in their body the notochord is present in the animal's body that animal or the group of that animal is considered to be in the phylum chordata or the group of animal is considered as chordates all right now i hope it is clear that what are chordates chordates is a group of animal inside which they have notochord persistent in their body notochord present in their body all these animals are known as chordates now we know that chordata phylum is subdivided into subphylum it's divided into subphylum such as first subphylum is urochordate then cephalochordate and the last subphylum under the phylum chordate is uh, subphylum vertebrata all right the subphylum urochordata and cephalochordata together known as protochordate why they are known as protochordate because they are primitive kind of chordate they are a primitive kind of chordate they have notochord in their body in case of urochordate only larva of the individuals of urochordate have notochord in them even uh, even they on, they have the notochord in only their tail the tail is having notochord only not the notochord is persistent throughout their body all right and in case of cephalochordate they have notochord uh, notochordate throughout their body but these two subphylums urochordate as well as cephalochordate they are considered as protochordate these two subphylums group together and these uh, this is known as protochordate that means primitive kind of chordate then we are left with the third and last subphylum that is subphylum vertebrata which is the advanced type of chordates what happens in them they also have notochordate notochord but the notochord is present in the embryonic stage only in the animals of vertebrate or the animals whole animals the animals which are included in the subphylum vertebrata they have notochord in them but the notochord is present only in the embryonic stage once the embryo gets developed into an adult being or adult individual that notochord that notochord is going to be replaced by a bony vertebral column or a backbone that is why they animal these animals are considered as vertebrate animals so what is the difference between protochordates and vertebrates protochordates have notochord and not vertebral column and in case of vertebrates they have notochord as well as they have vertebral column in their body that is why the statement is justified that all vertebrates are chordates because all vertebrates have notochord in them but not all chordates are known as vertebrates because the protochordate including the urochordate and cephalochordate they do not have vertebral column so these are uh, chordates these two subphylums urochordates and cephalochordates are chordates but they are not vertebrates hence the statement is justified that all vertebrates are chordates but all chordates are not vertebrates so we are going to write the answer of this question that phylum chordata includes the animals with notochord 
present in them. Notochord present in them. All right. Now we know that phylum chordata, phylum chordata is subdivided into urochordata, cephalochordata, and vertebrata. This is urochordata, the most primitive type of chordata. Then we have cephalochordata. Cephalo chordata and then we have vertebrata. Vertebrata. All of these three subphylums have notochord in their body. Now, if you are starting with the urochordata, then only larva, only larva have notochord. Notochord, which is present in the tail only, which is present in the tail region. Euro means tail. Euro here means tail. So you can have an idea that why this subphylum is referred to as Eurochordata because Notochord is present only in the tail region of only larva. So it is present in the tail region. Tail region. That is why they are referred to as urochordata because uro means tail and they have notochord. So they have notochord in only tail region of their larva, of their larva. That is why they are primitive kind of chordates and are known as urochordata. Now next come towards the cephalochordata, the cord notochord is present throughout the body. Notochord is present throughout the body but they do not have vertebral column. The Notochord is present throughout the body from, uh, if you talk about the anterior region, their head. Even their head region is consisting of notochord. That is why in the, the presence of notochord is present in their uh, head region. That is why the term, the phylum, subphylum is termed as cephalochordate. If you talk about the vertebrate, which is the th third or last subphylum under the phylum chordata, then the notochord, is present only in only in embryonic stage first of all only in embryonic stage and is replaced and is replaced by bony Vertebral column, vertebral column. All right, that is why they are known as vertebrata because the notochord of them is replaced by a bony vertebral column. So it is clear that these two subphylums have notochords in them, but the vertebral column is not present in them. And in case of vertebrata, there is the presence of vertebral column in them. That is why the statement given above on the screen is justified now that all vertebrates, all vertebrates are chordates as this is the subphylum under the phylum chordata. But all chordates are not vertebrates. All chordates are not vertebrates because they do not have vertebral column. So I hope you got all the answer of this. Question number nine. This is the complete solution of this.